Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Sometimes when a new series drops, I can't help but binge it. But then again, most of us are guilty of using some kind of screen, especially at bedtime. With so much entertainment at our fingertips, why wouldn't we enjoy it before bed? Well, if you've ever struggled to fall asleep after staring at a screen, it may not be when you're watching, but how you're watching it. So let's talk about why all this blue light is so bad for our sleep. Hi, I'm Faith. I'm sure you've heard the term blue light thrown around a lot. From our phones, to our TVs, to our computers, we're awash in blue light. But can you guess what the largest emitter of blue light is? It's actually the sun. The sun emits a white light that contains all light in the spectrum, including blue light. These light colors are determined by wavelengths or the amount of energy they emit. During the day, blue light can be extremely helpful. Blue light improves our alertness, our performance, and our attention. But at night, the blue light emitted by many household lights may affect us the wrong way. For most of human history, the 24-hour circadian rhythm that controls our sleep relied solely on sunrise and sunset. But now our digitally saturated lives means that we see an increased amount of blue light no matter the time of day. Artificial light is affecting our sleep by telling the brain to suppress melatonin, the hormone that makes us sleepy, even when it's nighttime. So even if you were tired when you got into bed, blue light from screens can delay falling asleep and lead to less total sleep time. Over time, this disruption of your sleep-wake cycle can lead to metabolic disorders, poor mental health, and it can worsen chronic health conditions. So who are the usual suspects when it comes to blue light exposure? Well, spoiler alert, almost all of your household lights and devices emit blue light. But luckily, there are ways to reduce the amount of blue light you see before bed. First, make it a routine to dim or turn off lights as you near bedtime. Reducing exposure at least an hour before bed can remind your brain it's nighttime and you're ready for bed. Next, higher wavelength colors like orange or red have less harmful effects on sleep. Switching out your lamps or even using candles can help you fall asleep easier. Also, most devices like your phone or tablet have dark mode or night mode options in their settings. Make sure to turn those on. When you use a device late at night, this will decrease the amount of blue light displayed. Finally, if you are a light sleeper, try sleeping with an eye mask on. Our eyes will continue to detect blue light even when asleep. And that can often cause us to wake up more frequently if your bedroom isn't dark enough. Now, you've probably also heard that blue light glasses or amber tinted glasses like these can help reduce eye strain from blue light. But unfortunately, the research on these is inconclusive. So we don't recommend you rely on these as a solution. Although digital eye strain and muscle fatigue are common, ultimately blue light is not bad for your eyes. It's bad for your sleep. And of course, poor sleep leads to poor well-being. If you're like me and you've made it a habit to stare at a phone before falling asleep, try some of these tips and see how it impacts your quality of sleep. Thanks for watching everyone. Sleep well.